Hello, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're gonna to be doing a basic model of a bridge abutment. Before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel. If you are new, if you already subscribed, hit the notification button as I upload BIM modeling tutorials and Revit tutorials three times every week. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Revit. So here we are in Revit 23. I'm gonna open up a new project using the construction template. And then I'm going to go to File, New, and then Family. And then I'm going to open up Metric Generic Model. And then I'm going to set up my dimensions. So I'm going to go with Reference Plane and then place two reference planes on the side like this. And then I'm going to offset them by 7,500 from the middle reference plane. And then this side also, 7,500. Then I'm just going to extend them. Perfect. Now I'm going to start by modeling the base of our bridge apartment, the first base. So I'm going to go to create extrusion and then I'm going to randomly place a rectangle within the bounds of our reference planes. And then I'm going to adjust it this side. So it's going to be 2,600. And then this side also, I'm going to adjust it by another 2,600. Perfect. And then I'm going to say finish edit mode, go to front elevation. Or oh, actually I'm going to go with left elevation. And then... When I hover over here, I'm going to press tab until only this, the top line is selected. And then I'm going to adjust the thickness. So I'm going to make it 1000 millimeters. Perfect. And now I'm going to go back to the reference uh, level. And then I'm going to place my base for where our bearings are going to be, are going to be sitting. So I'm going to go with create again, extrusion and then rectangle and then i'm going to place it like this and then i'm going to adjust the length uh, the length of our second base so it's going to be 2200 millimeters and then i'm going to say finish go to the left elevation and then i'm going to place it on top of our first base so i'm going to uncheck the constraint actually it doesn't want to move so i'm going to move it manually like this and then I'm going to hover over here, press tab, and then I'm going to make it 1,500 millimeter thick. Perfect. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my divider wall, which is going to be placed here. So we can still do that on our left elevation. So I'm going to go to create extrusion, and then I'm going to place it like this. And then the height is going to be gonna be 2987 millimeters and then the thickness is gonna be 400 perfect and then I'm gonna say finish edit mode go to reference level and then I'm gonna extend it until it meets the the two reference planes right and left and then when I open up the 3d view this is what we have so far so go back to the uh, the left elevation and now we're gonna model our wing walls so in order for us to do that we're gonna go back to create extrusion and then we're gonna take it upwards from this divider wall and then we're gonna press escape and then from this insertion point we're gonna take it to the right and then from there we're gonna take it upwards by 1500 millimeters actually we're gonna make it Actually, you're going to say uh, cancel edit mode and then select your divider wall and then move it towards the top, towards the top of your second base and then place it like this. We actually made a mistake, but uh, this is how we can rectify it. Just place your divider wall on top of your second base like this. And now go back to create extrusion and then place your wing wall there until it meets the top 
and then you're going to take it from this insertion point until where the first base ends and then you're going to take it upwards by 2500 and then enter and then you're going to leave it right there and then go to create place your reference uh, horizontal reference plane from this point to the right and then select your reference point press copy and then copy it upwards by 866 millimeters and then another seven and then 727 millimeters and then leave it right there and then you're gonna say create again reference plane and then you're gonna place another reference plane like this select this one copy and then you're gonna copy it to the right by 1500 millimeters perfect and then go back uh, go back to your your drawing mode go to line select your line and then from this point you're gonna take it towards this point and then bring it down to this point and then bring it diagonally to this point and then you can select your reference temporary reference planes and then remove them so this is your wing wall and then finish edit mode go to your 3d view this is what you have and then to adjust its position and thickness go to reference level and then drag it towards this reference plane and then uh, drag this one this side so you're gonna hover over here and press tab until you only select this line and then adjust it and make it 300 millimeters select your wing wall go to mirror pick axis and then pick the middle, middle reference plane and then it's copied to the other side so go back to your 3d view this is what you have so basically we are done with our bridge abutment and now you can select uh, the whole uh, structure go to material and then apply the material to this so you're gonna make it concrete and then go with the option of concrete uh, with a grading of C25 and 30 so you're gonna load it in and then apply OK and then change this to fun and then this to realistic and this is what you have so now uh, the next thing is you can apply parameters to this for your height and your length so you're gonna go to reference level go to your dimensions and then uh, select your uh, select your reference planes like this just increase your scale to 1 is to 50 and then you're gonna bring another one like this for your length and then for your wing walls you're gonna press uh, you're gonna add your thickness dimensions for your wing walls and then I think everything is fine or oh, the last thing is you're gonna also go to the left elevation and then your dimensions and then you're gonna hover over here and press tab and then select your divider wall and then you're gonna add a dimensions like this and then for the height the height of your of your second base you're gonna add another dimensions and also the height of your first base you're gonna add a dimension and then in order for you to control the length of these bases when you actually try to adjust one base you have to lock them uh, against each other so you're gonna you're gonna have to align them against each other so you're gonna press al for align and then press the second base and then uh, press the first base and then lock it and then same situation for your divider wall select uh, select your second base and then select your divider wall and then lock it and then for your wing walls also select your wing wall and then your first base and then lock it perfect and now in order for us to make this intelligent we're gonna have to add parameters to this so let's start with our divider wall so you're gonna select your dimension go to create parameter and then say divider wall thickness okay and then lock it and then select this one create parameter and then second base okay or you can say top base height and say okay and then lock it and then this one create parameter and then say bottom base height 
and then OK, and then lock it. And then go to your reference level and then select this one. And then you're going to say create parameter. And then you're going to say the width. OK, and then lock it. And then this one, you're going to say create parameter again. And then say length. OK, lock it. And then the last one, the wing walls, create parameter. And then say wing walls thickness okay and then lock it and then you're gonna apply the same parameter this side so under label you're gonna drop down and then say wing walls thickness and then it's gonna lock itself go to the 3d view and as you can see those are your parameters now we're gonna add this onto our project and before that uh in order for us to control the references you're gonna say work plane based so you're gonna check this and then say load into project. I'm not going to save this. I already did. So I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to place it. To change its orientation, you're going to press uh, your space bar. And then you're going to place it like this. Go to your 3D view. And this is your bridge abutment. So as you can see, when you adjust the parameters, uh, everything adjusts itself because you aligned the two separate elements against each other. Remember, in order for you to create a domino effect when it comes to your families with different elements attached to each other, you have to lock them against each other by using the align tool. So yeah, this is uh, what we have. Um, I hope you guys, I tried to keep it as short as I can. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you can apply this to your project and uh, Thank you guys for, for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Peace.